Hey, Theodore here from Whiteboard Crypto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to actually use an impermanent loss calculator that I created with the hopes of you understanding how a liquidity pool works a little bit better. So first off, how do you find the tool? Well, if you're new around here, you can go to whiteboardcrypto.com, scroll down and find the post. But if it's not on this first six, then you can actually Google Whiteboard Crypto and Permanent Loss Calculator and you should be able to find it. So first off, I wanna go over an overview of what impermanent loss is. And I've kind of created this page as an overview so that anyone wanting to learn about impermanent loss can view this page and hopefully they'll understand it. To put it simply, impermanent loss is the opportunity cost of what you lose whenever you provide liquidity for traders to use your coins or tokens. So whenever you provide liquidity, you are providing your tokens to an automated market maker. Now an automated market maker is basically a financial tool that allows you to invest your tokens and allows other people to trade using those tokens. Most big automated market makers out there in the crypto world use something called a constant product market maker. And basically they use this formula. Now, as you can see, X times Y equals K, and we will get to what that means in a second. But basically it creates this graph. And wherever we are in the graph, wherever the starting position is, it might be here, it might be here, it also might be here. However much you spend determines how much you get. So if we're way down here and you spend the same amount, the distance is not very much. You're not gonna get very many B tokens. However, if we start up here and you spend a little bit, you're gonna get a ton of B tokens. If you're confused on how an automated market maker works, definitely watch this video. This video has around 50,000 views right now and people are loving it. We used a crazy example of potatoes and apples to explain how they work. Now let's go up to actually how the impermanent loss calculator works. So we have three options here, simplest, simple, and advanced. And I'm gonna go through each one of them with you. So let's go through a scenario here where the first token doesn't change in price at all, but the second one doubles. As you can see here, the impermanent loss calculated is negative 5.7%. And what that means is, if you had just held your two tokens, say maybe you would have had $100, if you would have invested in the liquidity position, you would have 5.72% less money at the end of the scenario. And so you can mess around with these numbers, it takes negative numbers as well, and you can see how it affects the permanent loss. Next, let's go to the simple version. Now this one allows you to input different data. For example, we can have a token that starts with $1 and goes up to a dollar and a penny. On the other hand, we can have something like Ethereum that may be 4,000 and we're wondering what will happen if it moons and goes to 8,000. Well, the impermanent loss, if we provided liquidity, would be negative 5.56%, which isn't bad, assuming that we also get the price appreciation of our second token going from 4,000 to 8,000, and we only lose a little bit of that, around 5.5%. Lastly, let's go to the advanced section. Now this one took some coding. So first of all, let's clear out all these numbers for it to work properly. One of the simplest ways to do this is simply to refresh the page, and then go to the advanced tab, so starting off, we have the number of tokens. Let's start off with one token at $1. Now that's pretty much a stable coin. Now, what you'll see here is that it will actually autofill the other part of the liquidity pool. So let's say we have Ethereum here worth around $4,000. It automatically fills the number of tokens. And this is because whenever you provide liquidity to a position, the value of token A must always equal the value of token B. And then as we can see here, we have $1 in token A, $1 in token B, that equals $2 total invested. Now, if we scroll down here and we wanna say maybe Ethereum goes up 35%. By typing in 35%, we've actually automatically adjusted all of these numbers in the pool to see the outcome. So here you see Ethereum went from $4,000 to $5,400. However, the stable coin stayed the same price. And because of these numbers fluctuating, your initial value went from $1 to $1.16, which means our pool value went from $2 to $2.32. Now you might be thinking that's great, we made 16%. However, this is if you had provided liquidity to the liquidity pool. If you had instead just held on to your two tokens up here, your $1 of stablecoin and your $1 of Ethereum, you would now have $2.35 because a stable coin would be the same, but the price of Ethereum would have went up, raising your value of that token. Now, as you can see down here, very simply, if you had invested in the liquidity pool, you would have 2.32 cents, which is this number right here, 
But if you would have just held your initial tokens instead of investing them in the liquidity pool, you would have 2.35. And the difference between 2.32 and 2.35 is negative 1.12%. And that difference is your impermanent loss. So hopefully this helps people understand how impermanent loss works. And if we scroll down here, I basically have a set of scenarios when impermanent loss gets really bad and when it's not very bad. So impermanent loss is always bad if one token drastically increases, if one token drastically decreases, or if one goes up and one goes down. However, you can minimize your impermanent loss risk by keeping in mind two things. If the two tokens eventually ever return back to the initial prices that you invested your liquidity, you actually won't have any impermanent loss at all. Also, if the two tokens increase or decrease at the same rate, you also won't incur any impermanent loss. Let me show you that. So if both of these are 35%, 35%, the impermanent loss is actually zero. However, if one goes up 35% and the other goes down 35%, the impermanent loss is much greater. So I just wanted to share this tool that I created with you to help you understand and get a better grasp on what impermanent loss is. Before I end this video, I want to remind you of the two rules of a liquidity pool. The first one is that X times Y must always equals K. And if you're not sure what these two are, we can scroll back up here to our example. And this is X and this is Y. And these two multiplied together is K. So pretty much if you multiply these two together, you get one times 0 0.00025 and that's K. And K must always equal the same whenever the price changes. So after we have changed our prices, if we multiply this number by this number, we get K, which is this times this will always equal this times this, which that is how the liquidity pool always automatically balances itself. The second rule of a constant product automated market maker is that the value of token A must also equal the value of token B, even after the change. These two numbers must be the same. And once you clearly understand those two rules of a constant product automated market maker, you could actually create your own impermanent loss calculator. Feel free to play around with this tool. Read the rest of this article, which I've actually spent quite a bit of time on and added a bunch of pictures and videos. And if you have any questions or maybe you find a bug, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter or to email me as we would love to improve this page to help onboard new crypto users into understanding what impermanent loss actually is. Anyways, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. We really hope that you've learned something. And most of all, we hope to see you in the next video.